Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the three types of solutions of a system of linear equation in two variables. We're going to have the first case in this slide, so we're given this equation y equals one half x plus four. So if we're going to uh, graph the first line right here, our m or the slope for this is uh, one half and then the y intercept is four. So then from here, we can go ahead and uh, draw the line here. So first, we're going to uh, start up putting the dot on the y-intercept, which is 4. So it's going to be up here. And then it says 1 over 2. So that means we go up 1, right 2. So it's going to be up 1, 1, 2. Up 1, 1, and 2. So up 1, 1, and 2. So we can go ahead and do the other way around. Down 1, left 2. 2, down 1, left 2. So then we can go ahead and draw the um, draw the line for this um, equation right here. We're connecting these dots. So then we have this line right here. So I use orange for the first line. So this is, uh, we can label this as y is equal to 1 half x plus 4. Now the second equation is not in slope intercept form. So we're going to change this to its equivalent slope intercept form so we can um, see what the uh, slope is and what the intercept is. So then we can go ahead and um, using this equation that we have here, we can subtract x from both sides minus x. So then we are left with, so we can cross this out. So we're left with negative 2y is equal to negative x plus 6. Now, please remember, because others are going to think that this is negative 7x. Oh, no! That is not the way, I, that's not the right way to do it, because um, these two are unlike terms. So this one is an x, this one is a constant. So that's negative x plus 6. Since we want y by itself, so then we go ahead and divide both sides by negative 2, divided by negative 2, divided by negative 2. So then the leftover for this would be y is equal to uh, this becomes a positive because negative over a negative is a positive so that's a uh, positive one half x and then that's a minus three so then we can go ahead and say that our m for this second line is one half and our b is negative four i mean negative three so then we go ahead and graph this um that's gonna be, we're gonna start with the y-intercept negative three. Then it says uh, the slope is one over two, so we go ahead up one over two. So up one over two, up one over two, then up one over two. Then we can go ahead and do the other way around. Down one, left two, down one, left two. So then we can go ahead and um, connect these dots together to create the line. So this is the, um, second line so i'm just gonna draw the, that line over here so as you can see in this line by the way let's label this as y i mean x minus 2y equals 6 or this can be uh, written in its uh, slope intercept form those two are equivalent equations y equals one half x minus 3. so as you can see in this um, um case here or in this first case these two lines are not meeting anytime soon because both of their slopes are the same. That means they are parallel. So this first case is there is no solution to this um, system right here. So I'm just going to write no solution because again, they're not solution means that's the point of intersection between the two lines. And but they're not meeting anytime soon because there's uh, they're parallel because their slopes are equal. So that's the uh, first case. There's no solution. This first case happened or we can label this first case as uh, the, the two lines are parallel. So when two lines are parallel, then it means there is no solution. So that's the first case. Two lines are parallel, it means no solution. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, we're looking at case two here. So we're going to start by um, determining the... Uh, uh, slope and the y-intercept of the first equation right here. So our slope is negative 2 over 3 and the y-intercept b is 1. So we're going to start with 
um, our b which is on the y intercept which is one and then it says negative two over three so i go down two right three so one two one two three then one two one two three then one two one two three i can go the other way around so i'm gonna go up two left three so one two one two three then one two one two three so then I can we can go ahead and draw the first uh, the uh, the first line. So this is how the first line is gonna look like. So I'm just gonna label this um, as y is equal to um, negative two over three x plus one. Now looking at the second equation here, since this is not in slope intercept form, we can go ahead and isolate y by itself. So by subtracting four x from both sides, minus four x. So then we can go ahead and cross the four x out. So we're left with six y equals negative four x plus six. Again, others are gonna say this is gonna be two uh, x because six minus four is two and then just put the x. Oh, that is not no. the way how we do it these are unlike terms so you cannot combine them together so then from here we can go ahead and um, divide um, 6 from both sides divide 6 and divide 6 so then we can cross the 6 out we're left with y equals that's gonna be negative 4 over 6 x 6 divided by 6 is 1 so I'm just gonna put 1 we can reduce this to lowest term since they go by um, two, so I can go ahead and write y equals negative two-thirds x plus one. So then from here, we can go ahead and say that the m or the slope for this is negative two-thirds and then the uh, y-intercept is one. So we, if we draw that, that's going to be on one and then two over three, that means down two, one, two, one, two, three, down two, one, two, three, up two left three one two three so pretty much if we look at these two equations that we have here the first one and the second one they are a match so that means this orange and blue lines would be on top of each other and this is the second case so um, i put them all together so this is also the line for um that's gonna be four x plus 6y equals 6 or that's uh, y equals negative 2 over 3x plus 1. So the solution for this is uh, just a reminder um, in math we um, remember that lines are made up of infinite dots or infinite number of points so that means the intersection between these two lines since they match up so or they are on top of each other then that means that there's gonna be an infinite solution infinite means it's gonna be like a lot of them it's countless we can't figure out how many of them so that's gonna be infinite solution again the reason for this is these two lines are on top of each other that means each of the line of the first one and each of the i mean each of the points of the first one and each of the points of the second one are actually intersecting so this second case we can have the, this happens when two lines are on top of each other so we can go ahead and say that if two lines are on top of each other, then we're going to get an infinite number of solution. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the third case, case number three here. So in this problem that we have here, we uh, since they're not in... Um, slope intercept form we can change it to slope intercept uh, intercept form so i'm going to show the work up here so we're going to take the first one so that's 3x plus 2y equals 4 so then i go ahead and um isolate y by itself so minus 3x minus 3x so this would come out um we cross the 3x out so that's 2y equals negative 3x plus Four. So then we divide both sides by 2, divide this by 2, divide this by 2. So then we are left with y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 2. So then our m or the slope for the first one is negative 3 over 2. 
and then the y-intercept b is two. So we're ready to graph it. So the first, uh, uh, the first that we plot is the y-intercept on two. Since it says negative three over two, so it's gonna be down three, uh, right two. So one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two. I can go the other way around, up three, and then over two. So one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two. So then after this, we can connect these dots together to create the first line. So um, so it's gonna look like this. So this is the first line. So I'm gonna label this as y equals negative three over two x plus two or three x plus two y equals four. Now let's draw the second one. Before we do that, we're gonna change this to slope intercept form. So it's gonna be two x minus y equals five. So then we're gonna subtract two x from both sides. So minus two x and minus two x. So then we are left with negative y equals negative two x plus five again we cannot add them together because others are adding them together. Oh, That's no. not how we do it because these two are unlike terms. So then we divide both sides. So we want positive y by itself. So we're going to divide this by negative 1, divide negative 1, and divide this by negative 1. So we're left with y is equal to, it's going to just be a 2x minus 5. So then our slope is um, 2 over 1. And then the y-intercept is negative 5. So we're ready to graph it. So first we start with um, negative 5. Then I will go up 2 over 1. So 1, 2 over 1. So 1, 2 over 1. 1, 2 over 1. Or I can go the other way around. Down to left 1. 1, 2, 1. So that's 1, 2, 1. So then I can go ahead and... Um, connect these dots together to create the line. And so they are, or these two lines are intersecting um, at this point right here. So that is gonna be, uh, there's only, the, so the, this case is actually one solution. So I'm just gonna write one solution here. So our solution actually in this problem is, I can put that right here, that is two and negative one. And so this is case number three. This happens when two lines intersect at one point. So intersect at one point. So if two lines intersect at one point, pretty much there's only one solution. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. Again, we go back to the three cases. We start with the third case. This happens when there's only one solution, when they are intersecting at one point. Now, the second case is this happens when the two lines are on top of each other. So if they're on top of each other, there's going to be an infinite solution. And the first case that we got here is when two lines are parallel. So they're not going to be intersecting anytime somewhere on their path. So that's going to be no solution. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.